What is up everybody? Back with another wear review, this time with the New Balance 990 V6s. I've been wearing these a lot the last few days, got a lot of steps in. I had worn them before, but now I can, I feel I can confidently speak on them, their comfortability, what they're good for, what maybe downsides, etc. Uh, this is my only pair of them. It's a GR uh, colorway made in USA, I think Teddy Santis. Um, pair yeah made in usa so just a gr not a collab uh, man i really wish i had a pair of those action bronson ones i think those are the the best sickest looking 990 v6s but um you know i don't think i'm uh, alone in that i think probably a lot of you like those too if you're watching this video uh yeah but overall overall i'll, I'll cut to the chase strong strong review these are a great, great shoe. I did an unboxing video of those. If you want to see my like initial out of the box impressions on just the aesthetic and stuff, go check that out. Um, but where where this really, I think where this really shines is comfort. Um, I just did a wear review on these 990 V3s. This is like my favorite 990 model, maybe my favorite New Balance model, um, just overall solid across the board in uh, a lot of different categories it's just kind of like it, you know in ratings and like sports video games or like i don't know rainbow six or fighter games you know they have the stat bars this is like the most solid across the board sturdy durable wears good um good materials pretty comfortable looks good with everything maybe not the specific colorway this is a pretty dad colorway but i have other colorways uh just i'm talking about the model in general and um this probably favorite overall where this shines the 990 v6 i mean um i'm not making earth shattering news here but it's more comfortable and you can already tell by the chunkier heel and midsole and uh, that's really where this stands out is just uh the comfortability in many factors let's go over some of those uh here but first off it's i feel like it's a slightly water, wider shoe for all you wide footers i'm gonna move my camera back into the shade here before it overheats um it's a slightly wider fit, so any any wide footers, uh, uh, that's an advantage. I'm gonna get into sizing at the end. I wanna talk a little bit first about the, the standout points. It's it's really this the comfort. Like, look how ch chonky that, that midsole is. And really, where I seem to notice it in about the, this takes about twice the time. I, I tend to get, like sore, once I walk long enough, do enough walking, like my front right forefoot, the forefoot area on my foot gets a little sore. I don't know if I'm a front striker or what that is. I think I'm pretty even, like from heel to forefoot striking. I don't know, but by mile whatever, um, three, four, putting in heavy steps, the front forefoot area kind of tends to get sore in my old age and it takes twice as long in these, I feel like, than these. These, half the time, it gets sore up there. And you can tell, um, here, I'll put on, I'll, I'll take off the correct shoe, I guess. I'll put this one back on. These slip on really nicely, like the, the ankle cup's really nice and like wide to slip on, uh, whereas this kind of grips right there. This is a different Achilles grip. It's more rounded up there, and here it splits down the center. Slight differences right there. Um, but you can tell, like, see how squishy, squishy this is? The amount of, I don't know if you can tell, the give there, you probably won't be able to tell. But it's just slightly more rigid on the 990 V3. I don't know how it is on the other uh, 990 models, but this is just, it's not that it's not cushiony. It is. It's just slightly more resistance and rigid than the foam they use in this. I think this one, there's just a little bit more give. And then obviously in the heel, there's a lot more cushion. So this, this shoe, you can just put more miles in if you're walking, touring a city, whatever. If you're just getting steps in for exercise, um, you can just put more miles in comfortably. Now, not, not dirt, not, this is not a trail shoe, et cetera, et cetera. This is definitely concrete cement, but this is, uh, this is perfect for walking in. I think this is a really great walking shoe. I don't, um, and it's wider, like I said. Now with sizing, I did go, I did go, oh, these are 11 and a half. These are 11 and a half and they fit uh, great. Maybe a slightly big, I could, I could lace them maybe a little tighter. The problem with going half size down is like my, 
the area of my foot is fine. That's fine. Could even go a smaller. The problem with all the new balances I find is if I go half size down across the forefoot area up here where it laces, that is too tight. And even if you lace them loosely, like this material right there, that doesn't grow, this material. The lace area, this area grows, widens when you loosen it. But this right here, that can't stretch. And so if I go half size down, that tends to cut off the upper, cuts off circulation, it's uncomfortable. So that's the unfortunate thing about, I've, I've found about a lot of New Balance models, is some New Balance models, I have to go 12, I can't even go 11 and a half. But with the 990 series, I've been uh, pretty lucky in being able to go to my size 11 and a half. So I would recommend true to size, just be where it might be a little loose. The best thing is go to a store. Like the GRs are readily available in lots of different stores. Try them on, uh, try them on uh, first. That would be my recommendation. Especially if you're gonna like, oh, I want a pair of hype pair, a collaboration pair, the Action Bronsons, something that's just alone. The retail on these is like over 200. So I would try them on first. If for whatever reason you can't try them on first or you don't know your size, go half size up to be safe. Um, maybe uh, if it, you don't mind, some people mind that. I just put on thicker socks. What I do, what I do if I'm walking. Um, because like I said, these, these are my size, but they're still a little loose. I just put on bigger socks. I'm wearing stance socks here. There's a little thicker, um, and it usually does the trick. You could also put swap soles, of course, insoles to make them bigger. Um, but yeah, wear thicker socks. That's, that's my suggestion. It's just a really expensive shoe to get too tight. Um, so highly recommend trying on a GR pair at the store first before you order. Um, or secondarily, if you don't mind things not fitting perfectly, you could go half size up, wear bigger socks, swap out insoles. The only real notice where I notice that it's a problem, that these are a little too big, even in my size, is going down hills. My foot tends to slide a little bit forward, and that's not great. Um, but again, it's not too big of an issue. And I just can't go half size down, unfortunately, because just the upper cuts off here. A lot of models do that um, for me, unfortunately. So I, I have to be careful. Now, um, like I said, like the examples of where these are more comfortable, more comfortable than these, even though I like the look of these a lot. Um, the 2002 R's, I have a gray pair uh, that's pretty comfortable. The insoles on these is this like weird faux cork. Um, these aren't super comfortable. I mean, they're, I mean, when I say not super comfortable, I mean in comparison to other New Balance shoes. These are definitely, um, you know, more comfortable than like a pair of chucks all day 100 percent. but i'm just saying in comparison to other new balances um i have another pair of 2002 r's that are better than these but mainly because the insole and they're okay they're pretty comfortable where where these have competition and comfort i love these 920s made in england this is like one of my favorite new balance shoes these are super comfortable um i don't do a ton of walking in them because like I don't have enough of the pair of these. I love them so much. They're like soft, buttery suede. Um, so I don't log tons of miles in them. I try to keep them. So, but, but when I do wear these, these are super comfortable. Um, and then these, I've worn these once, twice maybe. These 9060s, this is a newer model for New Balance. Definitely chunky heel, chunky uh, midsole. So these are pretty comfortable. Again, haven't put a ton of miles in, so it's hard to compare like what are a better walker, 9060s or these. Um, you know, this is just pretty bulky, might get a little heavy, you know, you could step on your heel. It, it's okay, but just for like straight up, like, let's say you want to get like a fitness walking shoe, treadmill gym, I would go these, the, the V6s over these. This is more just kind of a casual lifestyle shoe that is comfortable. But again, I can't compare them properly because I haven't worn these a ton. So if in the comments, if you know, uh, let me know. Uh, the other not just in the 990 series, uh, I'm not as knowledgeable of the the V1, the V2, the V4 uh, or V5. So all you who are New Balance heads who know the 990 series, uh, well, you can weigh in. But I'm I'm probably right. I would assume in guessing the V6 is the most comfortable. Um, the other downside maybe to these is just I know um, even the, the the made in USA models are higher materials it's just like for example this has a lot of nice suede 
in it. I just wouldn't wear these in rain. I, you know, it's a light colorway too. So that, now I'm talking about this specific model. This very, not model, but this very specific colorway. The materials in light color don't make these like the most rugged uh, for tons of wear. You know, they're gonna get dirty. Luckily, they're a little off white and cream, hide some of it, but they're suede. You don't wanna wear these in water, a ton of water and stuff. Like this all leather pair is, even though it's white, much more probably will wear down better. Um, last longer it's just more rugged and durable um so that that's the downside to this specific pair but really really like them uh for walking again with that big thick midsole uh i don't think they're quite as wearable in all functions as like the v3 again taking out this colorway this colorway to me is a little dad shoe-esque um but other v3, v3 models are very wearable in all different situations and functions uh, the V6 for me is, it definitely looks like more of a true performance walking shoe, if you want to call it that. Um, maybe a touch less uh, Y2K casual. This is definitely more 2024 casual lifestyle. And if you want that kind of that Y2K mesh vintage look, or that's, it's weird to call Y2K vintage. You know what I'm saying though. Um, if you kind of want a retro look. To me, this isn't it. This is more modern look. So yeah, I, I don't know if even that's the downside for some of you people, uh, but really like the V6. Highly recommend, a little high on the price point. That's why I suggest trying them on. But if you need, if you're going on a trip or just if your day involves a lot of standing, walking, uh, again, there's probably better shoes out there maybe. Um, uh, but if you want good materials, uh, good materials, look dope, uh, and comfort this this hits on all those levels uh, I recommend them for for doing heavy walking for sure again there might be better models out there I'm just saying um, if you're like what New Balance is super comfortable that I can walk in a lot go to Disneyland go to Disney World uh, go to like maybe a, a music festival and be on my feet a lot during the day uh, the V6 I definitely recommend checking out all right, have some other wear reviews that I've made recently. Go check those out if you like my content. Appreciate you watching. Let me know in the comments what you think about the V6 uh, in comparison to the other 990 models. Uh, let us let let the uh, the viewers know if you have any other New Balance models that you think are super comfortable. But for me, this is definitely towards the top of comfort of all the New Balances. Towards the top holds. I don't know if it holds the title, but yeah, you know, top three for me. All right, peace. All right, a couple of big more important things I want to add that I forgot to talk about earlier um, that's important underwear review is one uh, specifically with this light colorway. Here's a little stain. I think I was uh, washing my car windshield at a gas station and some of that like dirty water mixture got flung on top and you can see so it stains easily but obviously with darker colors. Um, this is going to be fine, and that probably will wash out. Also, the, the big thing that I didn't talk about, I mainly talked about the comfort, is uh, these are fairly breathable. Uh, yeah, they're fairly breathable, which is nice. I would even say slightly more than the 990 V3. Not sure on the others, but you can see just like, it's similar amount of leather strips on top, but they're just wider mesh panels here. And, and also the tongue, I think, is mesh all the way to the top pretty much and um it's just a slightly more breathable all around see that that layer at, at the achilles it's it's close to the amount of same leather uh covering but just uh, slightly less so i feel like it's slightly more breathable um also i feel like it's slight uh just uh, despite it being kind of wider and more foam i feel it's um just a touch lighter too so it has both the uh, winds and the lightness category and the airy, not by a ton, but um, that also helps in the comfort factor of these. So I just wanted to add that, add that in.